Hi guys, so for New Year's I decided to try out a slightly different variation of Bobby Flay's Carbonara Mac and Cheese. I started off by chopping bacon instead of pancetta and placing it in a saucepan with olive oil. You're going to let that cook for about 8 minutes or until golden on both sides. Grab another pot and boil water so we can start cooking the pasta until al dente. I used a cup of elbow pasta. Your stovetop should look something like this with both pots. And then once your pasta is done, remove it from the heat and do the same with the bacon. Just take it out of the pot and place it on a plate with a paper towel to drain the excess oil. But keep the oil and the bacon fat since we're going to use that to make the sauce. Okay, so now we're going to focus on the meatballs. In this bowl, we have ground beef, eggs, chopped onions, garlic, dried oregano, basil, salt and pepper, and milk. And then you're going to mix it all together with your hands because that's apparently the best method. And then you're going to roll them into tiny balls. Try to make them as evenly as possible. Okay, now going back to the bacon fat, we're going to add garlic and flour to that in order to get started on our mac and cheese sauce. And you're going to mix it all together until it becomes this doughy consistency. To this, we're going to add some milk. I added about a cup or so. Now you're going to whisk that all together until the dough integrates with the milk and the milk thickens up. Now the camera cut off, but I added um, thyme, cayenne pepper, and an egg yolk, which is why it looks more yellow now. And you're going to mix that all together before you add your cheeses. So Bobby used four different cheeses, but I only had Monterey Jack and Kobe Jack. So I just added that and you're going to whisk that all together until the cheese completely melts. Now we're going to add some salt and pepper to taste. And give that a whisk to integrate it all. And then if it's too thick, you can add a bit of milk. I just added a splash because it wasn't that thick. Now we're going to mix in the sauce with the pasta. And here I added about half of the bacon into the pasta. So now grab your baking pan. I used an 8x8 and butter the bottom of it and then add in your mac and cheese in there. Don't forget to spread it evenly. And grab all of the cheese sauce. And then I topped it off with leftover bacon and more cheese. Now we're going to pop it in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And we also popped in the meatballs for about 20 minutes. Once it's done, take it out of the oven and let it rest for about 10 minutes before serving. We forgot to flip over the meatballs, which is why they look a little flat at the bottom, but they were still juicy and filled with flavor. 
and once they're done, just let them cool for about 5 to 10 minutes. Here's the final product plated and everything. Enjoy and happy new years.